what I've done here is I've actually read the message, but I've not given this person a blue tick. Just a quick video to show how you can read your WhatsApp messages without hiding your status or leaving a blue tick. Have you ever been in a situation where you've got a message from your friends, parents, girlfriends, or boss or whoever, and you didn't want to give them a blue tick on WhatsApp, but you desperately wanted to read the message, but you had only a few options. One, read it or blank them for a while and read it later. What I used to do is I used to read notifications like this, like right? just, just, just hold here and then check what, whatever message that comes through. Um, but that only applies to the message that is currently on your notification tray. What I want to show you is how you can read your messages without actually alerting the other person that you've read it. I've been using this little known trick for a year, for many years actually. I've been using it for multiple years and I want to share that with you. Sadly, the trick only works on iOS and as it doesn't need any third party app enrollment. Let me just quickly show you how this is done. So the way how this works is, assume you're just gonna send a person a message quickly. So if you say, so I'm just gonna bring this back. So if you say, hello, where are you or something like that, right? So you see the person's getting the messages there. So obviously you can you can read the messages as you receive them, or you can go back into your notification tray and check what these messages are. But the only way to actually truly check entirety of the message, so I'm just gonna quickly spam a bit more. So you can see I've sent loads of messages in here that I can easily check all of them. You see, I got nine. So if I click and hold, you see, this is utilizing the peak feature. If I click and hold, you can pretty much see all the latest messages. So if, if you are quick enough, if you've got four or five messages, you can click this and then quickly see what messages have been sent. So if we keep it in this view um, and then continue to send, you see, it doesn't change anything. So you have to go back and then check again. The more messages you get, it just keeps coming up. And this also works on your group as well. So if you got a group, and if you've got loads of messages in the group, you can click and hold and you can read the message and the unread bubble will stay there. You see, so you can read it and the unread bubble will stay there. And you see, I've read this here. I've read these messages already. The double tick um, stays gray, it doesn't stay blue. Typically, when you get a message like that, you see, it's on the notification tab. And what you can do is if you bring it down, you tend to read it like this right? And then you can respond back. So if I read this, say hi, and then I respond back here. You see? Um, did it respond? Didn't even respond. You see? When, when you respond back to somebody through that, all of these messages will become blue tick. So that's acknowledging the fact that the person has checked the messages and they've responded. So that doesn't become blue tick till you respond. The only thing this will do is it will keep the phone online, but that's not a problem, it, depending on your statuses. Unfortunately, this doesn't work on Android because the way how Android works is if you hold on to it, you see Android gives you a tick button. So Android actually doesn't utilize that function to actually peak the messages. I hope this gets you out of tricky situations where you, where you really want to read the messages, uh, but you really don't want to change the way how you work. Um, and you can also use the peak feature for so many other things within the iOS, like it, this might also work on um, iMessages and, and, and Telegram and whatnot, but I don't know. Uh, I've, only, I've only been using this on WhatsApp, so anywhere where it sends an extra confirmation, the peak feature will stop that from happening unless it's very app specific. But yeah, that's it. If you appreciate things like this, do follow the channel. This is where you'd follow um, really wacky tricks like that uh, and do leave us up to the channel. Thank you so much.